a very good morning to all of you this is eighth video from the unit motion in the last video i was discussing about the numerical problems using the different equations of motion here in this video i will discuss the numerical problems based on the graphical representation of motion so in the first here it is velocity time graph for the motion of the body is shown here in the figure and based on this observation answer the following question sub topic a is which part of the graph shows the accelerated motion also calculate the acceleration sub topic b is which part of the graph shows the retarded motion also calculate the retardation and c here is calculate the distance travel by the body in first 4 second of the journey i would request you that please draw the graphs not only this and the next also which i will discuss first you draw the graph in your note copy then it will be easy for you to understand its solution and here is the solution for sub topic a the part oa of the graph shows accelerated motion as the velocity of the body is increasing uniformly with time so acceleration a is equal to v minus u by t using first equation of motion we can write and v here is for u is 0 so we have 4 minus 0 divided by 4 second which gives us 1 meter per second square so the acceleration for the part oa is 1 meter per second square sub topic b bc part of the graph shows retarded motion as the velocity of the body is decreasing uniformly with time so here for its calculation retardation a is equal to we will use the same formula v minus u by t but here in this situation v is 0 because at c final velocity v is 0 so it is 0 minus 4 divided by 14 minus 10 so 14 10 second minus 10 second time interval and we get minus 1 meter per second square so retardation for the part bc it is minus it is 1 meter per second square so if we will call it as acceleration we will say it minus 1 meter per second square third sub topic distance traveled by the body in 4 second first 4 second for this we will find the area under oa part of the graph that is area of the triangle oad which will give us area of triangle half into base into height so we have half into 4 second into 4 meter per second which gives us 8 meter so distance traveled by the body in the first 4 second is 8 meter moving ahead the next numerical we have observe the figure 8.11 and figure 8.11 shows the distance time graph of three objects a b and c study the graph and answer the following question i will request again please make the diagram first then it will be easy for you to solve it and here based on this observation we are supposed to calculate in first which of the three is traveling the fastest second are all three ever at the same point on the road c is how far has c traveled when b passes a and the fourth that is d is how far has b traveled by the time it passes c so here comes the solution observe the graph carefully here which is given for the solution 
and here we can say for subtopic A the slope of distance time graph of a moving object indicates its speed greater the slope higher is the speed now in the given figure the slope of distance time graph of object B is the maximum so the object B has the maximum speed in other word the object B is traveling the fastest this is the answer for subtopic A now for B in order to be at the same point on the road the respective distance and time values for all the three moving objects should be the same. Since the distance time graph lines of the three objects A, B and C do not cross at a single point, therefore the three objects are never at the same point on the road. Again observe the graph here carefully so that we can give the solution for subtopic C and D and now we have we can see from the given figure that when B passes A at point D then the C is at point E which is indicated here in this figure if we locate the distance corresponding to point E on the y axis, we find that it is 6.5 km. Thus, C has traveled 6.5 km when B passes A. For subtopic D, we have the solution. The distance time graph of B and C meets at point F which we have marked here in this graph. If we locate the distance corresponding to point F on the y axis, we will find that it is 5 km and thus B has traveled 5 km by the time it has passes C. Moving ahead, we have the next numerical and for it the speed time graph for a car is shown in the figure 8.12 given here. Observe this figure carefully. And based on this observation, we are supposed to find how far does the car travel in the first 4 seconds. Set the area on the graph that represents the distance traveled by the car during the period. That is 4 seconds. And B is which part of the graph represents uniform motion of the car. For the solution, observe the figure which is given here and the distance traveled by the car in the first 4 seconds is given by the area between the speed time curve and the time axis from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 4 second. Observe it carefully. This area of the distance time graph which represents the distance traveled by the car has been shaded here in this. And in order to find the distance traveled by the car in the first 4 second, we have to count the number of squares in the shaded part of the graph and also calculate the distance represented by one square of the graph paper. While counting the number of the squares in the shaded part of the graph, the squares which are half or more than half are counted as complete squares. But the squares which are less than half are not counted. When counted in this way, in this given situation, the total number of squares in the shaded part of the graph is found to be 63. So for its solution we have 
we will now calculate the distance represented by one square of the graph and this can be done as follows if we look at the x axis we find that five squares on the x axis represents a time of two second so now five squares on x axis is equal to two second so one square on x axis is equal to 2.5 second consider this as one again if we look at y axis we find that three squares on y axis represents a speed of two meter per second now three squares on y axis is equal to two meter per second so one square on y axis is equal to 2 by 3 meter per second consider this as equation 2 since we have one square on x axis represents 2 by 5 second and one square on y axis represents 2 by 3 meter per second therefore area of one square on the graph which represents a distance is equal to 2 by 5 into 2 by 3 which gives us 4 by 15 meter now one square represents a distance of 4 by 15 meter therefore 63 squares represents distance which is equal to 4 by 15 into 63 which gives us 16.8 meter thus what is the conclusion the car travels a distance of 16.8 meters in the first 4 seconds. Now for subtopic 2, which asks us which part of the graph represents the uniform motion of the car. And here we are with the solution. In uniform motion, the speed of car becomes constant. The constant speed is represented by a speed time graph line which is parallel to time axis. In the given figure, the straight line graph from t is equal to 6 second to t is equal to 10 second which is marked here as AB represents the uniform motion of the car. That is the part of the graph representing uniform motion has been labeled a, B in this figure. Thank you for today.